Hi guys, welcome. Today I'll do a flip through of my morning journal. Every page has a different doodle, so I'm very excited to show you. If you like this kind of video, please consider subscribe for more. I hope you enjoy, grab a drink and let's begin. And here we are guys, this is a gorgeous Archer and Olive A5 notebook with this beautiful design, I got it uh, from the last sale that they did. And let's begin. This is the journal that I use for uh, my morning thoughts. Everything that I think, as soon as I wake up, I write it down. And that's why I called it a few lines every day. For this first page, I glued black paper and uh, I used metallic acrylographic pen from Archer and Olive for the decorations. I love how this quote page came out. For these flowers or suns, I don't know what they are, I used acrylographic pens again from Archer and Olive. This is a tiny August calendar. I tried to reproduce in my own way the design from the first page and it's very cute, I think. For my morning routine, I want to focus on the very first thought that I have in the morning and depending if it's negative or positive, I will either let it go if it's negative, if I can control it, or take action on it if I can control it. And if it's a positive, I will just enjoy it and try to make it even bigger than what it is. So the rest of the pages are pretty much blank pages with doodles for me to just write down everything that I think in the morning. Here there's a bit of a mess, but it's okay. I'll ju I just left it there on purpose because it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be colorful and a place for me to go there and be comfortable to write down whatever I want to. How cute are these little houses? I used again acrylographic pants from uh, Archer and Olive. I alternated three different colors and I think it came out super cute. Something that I like to do sometimes is attaching some washi tape on a piece of paper and then reproduce the same pattern in my own way. And this page came out a whole other thing, but I actually like it. I tried to reproduce this pattern here, but it came out a mess. I don't like how it came out, but well, whatever, it's okay. I love these trees though, so see, sometimes it comes out right, sometimes it doesn't, it's okay. Make today a good day, that's always a good advice. How cute is this little doodle with a little red seal? I love it so much. By the way, I use a lot of chalk markers for these doodles, uh, like in this case, and this is lovely, I think. It's very simple, but it gives such a nice effect. And here for the details of the fish, I use some gel pens, but I will put in the description all the materials that I used. And please let me know which doodle you like the most because I'm very curious about it. I can't even pick which one I like better. Archer and Olive acrylograph pens are very good for detailed doodles. So if you want a finer line, I definitely recommend those. Also, the colors are beautiful.
this is another one that i like a lot how it came out i reproduced the same pattern from the washi tape but it's so simple that i didn't think it would come out so nice but it did same thing here uh, you can't really see it in the camera but i pretty much reproduced the same sort of geometrical shapes and then i use a golden pen for the lines And this is a pattern that I'm recently getting obsessed about, so you're gonna see it often. It's so nice though, it's amazing. So I use it here too for external concern, internal concern, let it go again, take action. It's a very simple advice, but it works very well. And look at this pattern, it's amazing. I just use the uh, jelly pen for these. this is it for today thank you so so much to watch this video i hope you found some inspiration for your own journal and i wish you a very lovely day i'm gonna finish my coffee and start writing on this journal i can't wait bye guys thanks again and see you soon mm -hmm.